Hey guys, what's going on? Coach Justin here from Ultimate Baseball Training, and in today's video, we're gonna talk about how you can stop hitting ground balls, those weak rollover ground balls, and you can start hitting line drives instead, which is what it's all about. Line drives, they eventually turn into home runs. They're doubles in the gap. It's fun when you hit line drives instead of just rolling over and getting out on a weak ground ball. So that's what we're gonna talk about in today's video. Let's get started. The first thing I really wanna to stress to you is, in my opinion, the two most important things things in hitting. What are they? Well, they are arriving on time with the pitch and on plane with the pitch. And if you think about it, really nothing else matters if you arrive on time and on plane, okay? But, you know, it's, it's easier said than done, obviously. That's why hitting is such a hard deal. But first, I just want to talk about the angles, okay? So, I want you to think about a pitcher is on a mound, okay? So obviously he is taller than you when he stands up on that mound, right? The mound elevates him, okay? And a pitcher obviously throws the ball from up here. So in order to make that pitch, you know, starting out up here, in order to make that go into the strike zone for a strike, which is the pitcher's goal, he's gonna release it and it's gonna be coming at a downward plane, okay? No matter, even if he's a short pitcher, it's gonna be coming at a downward plane. Some pitchers can really get more tilt and it's a steeper plane. Some pitchers, it's a little bit more flat if you see a guy that has a flatter fastball, but either way, it's slightly downhill, okay? So that's number one, that's the first thing to understand. Now, as hitters, you hear a lot of coaches say, well, you know, the key to hitting is chop down on the ball or swing down on the ball, get on top of the ball. And if you think about it from just an angles perspective, from a swing plane perspective, that doesn't make sense. Okay, so the ball, imagine this is the ball. It's coming in at a downward plane. Now, I like to use extreme, so let's, let's say it's coming in really, really steep. And this is my bat, okay? So if you think about it, there's really, if they're coming in at this steep of an angle, there's really only one point of intersection where those two meet, meaning that your timing has to be absolutely perfect. If you're truly swinging down on the baseball, your timing has to be absolutely perfect in order to hit that baseball. And even if it is, even if your timing is perfect, the ball's coming down, you're swinging down, where do you think that ball is gonna go? You're gonna beat it into the ground. So bottom line, stop trying to get on top of the baseball. The angles just simply don't make sense. Another thing you'll hear people say is that, you know, well, you gotta swing down on the ball because that's how backspin is created. And that's simply not true as well, okay? The way that backspin is created is by hitting, if this is a baseball, by hitting slightly below the equator of the baseball, okay? If you hit the top of it, that's gonna be top spin. If you hit it directly in the middle, that's gonna be when those balls kind of knuckle and they don't move very much. If you hit the ball slightly below the equator on the inside part of the ball, that is when you're gonna get that good backspin that you're looking for. That is how the ball carries. It's not swinging down on it. Uh, all you're gonna do is beat that ball into the ground. That's not what professional players do, okay? So stop trying to chop down on the ball. Stop trying to you know swing down on it to get backspin. Stop trying to get on top. You hear uh, you know a lot of pitching coaches will tell pitchers, what do they wanna do? They wanna get the ball down in the strike zone, okay? So if the ball is down, if their goal is to try and get it down in the strike zone and we're swinging down on the ball, you know, that just doesn't make sense. If, if the pitcher's trying to keep the ball down in the zone and they're throwing on a downward plane, you want to do the opposite of them, okay? Obviously, they're trying to do that so they can get you out, so that you get on top of the ball and you get a ground ball and they get you out. So we want to do the opposite of that. We want to swing on plane with the pitch, which is a slight uppercut, okay? A couple things I want to point out if you're struggling with this, okay? One thing that you can do instantly when you're hitting off of a tee is think about with your top hand, okay? I see a lot of players when they get to contact, they immediately start rolling their wrists over, okay? And that is obviously gonna cause a lot of ground balls if your top hand gets flippy like this. So one way to avoid that, think about with your top hand, you have a pizza on your hand and you're throwing it into the oven. This move right here, you're throwing it into the oven, okay? And then when you put a bat on it, okay, I get here and I'm throwing that pizza into the oven, okay? You'll notice it's not this like I was doing before, but I get to this point of contact and I'm throwing the pizza into the oven and I get into that good power V position here with my hands. So that's something to just think about, a mental cue when you're doing soft toss or T work. Think about throwing that pizza into the oven. And one drill that I really like to do is I like to do low T. So I'm gonna set up my T here. Um, 
Actually, you know, if this is the normal spot I would set up my tee, I'm gonna move it forward a little bit so it's way out in front of me and I'm gonna put it on the lowest setting, okay? So that's the super low pitch. If I would normally hit that ball right here, I'm gonna actually take a step back. So that thing is way out in front of me. But what the low tee drill is gonna encourage me to do is I'm gonna get on plane with the pitch very, very early and I'm gonna try and stay on plane for as long as I possibly can. And you'll really notice you get instant feedback if you get to this point of contact and you roll over because it's gonna be a weak ground ball to shortstop, okay? So we really wanna focus on driving through that baseball. This is a great tee drill. I love this one for really working on that throwing the pizza into the oven feeling. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you have, what I want you to do is leave me a thumbs up below. Get in the comment section. Let me know what you want me to make future videos about. And as always, if you're not already, be sure you're subscribed. We're coming out with brand new baseball videos every single week. So be sure you're subscribed to the channel. And if you want a free bat speed workout, if you want to improve your bat speed five to 10 miles an hour in a very, very short amount of period of time, then what I want you to do is click on the link directly below this video, okay? First link in the description, that'll take you to my website. All I need is your email address and I'll immediately send you that free bat speed workout, okay? So go grab your workout, first link in the description. Be sure you're subscribed. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.